Good afternoon, book fighters. It is Tuesday, February 1st. Happy February. And I read The Truth of the Matter by Andrew Clavin last week. For real this time. I didn't read something else. I actually read this book. Um, this is the third book in, this, in the series, the Homelander series. And when I started this book, I figured that this could go one of two ways. Either everything that pissed me off about the series would stop and it would get better or everything that pissed me off about the series was just going to get worse and it was just going to piss me off even more. Uh, unfortunately, it was the latter that happened. Um, and this series, and you know, I bet you're wondering why, why if, if it pisses you off so much and there are so many things you don't like about it, why do you keep reading them? Um, because for some reason, I like them. I. I've never had it happen where the book that I'm reading, the only thing that I like about it is the overall story. Like, that's never happened. I've, I, literally, the, I don't like any of the characters in this book. Really, I don't, I don't like any of them. The only characters that were somewhat tolerable were Charlie's friends, Charlie the main character. His friends, who were only in the second book, and, and just... Just everybody, I, nobody, nobody in this book amuses me. Nobody in this book d d does anything for me. The the main character, Charlie, he infuriates me every single time he says anything out loud. It just, <sighs> but there's something about the story, and you know, you know what, the writing's not even that good. I, I'm reading it, and maybe it was just really being pessimistic, but this book. Because I guess it's a YA thing. It must be a YA thing. Someone needs to talk to YA authors, first-time YA authors. People that usually write YA mainly don't seem to make this mistake. But adult authors who decide to write a YA novel seem to have the impression that teenagers use exclamation points all the time. I don't know what that is. It and it's not even a matter of them being used incorrectly because the sentences that they follow you know could be followed by an exclamation point but it's just you know when there's like five or six exclamation points per page it just gets really annoying at least for me and I don't know what that is it, it's a thing it, it's a YA thing that I've seen and it's mostly men male authors that write YA seem to do this a lot and and to me it just makes the it just makes the narrative seem really juvenile to have every, you know, other paragraph be like, and the bomb was going to explode, exclamation point. I had to get out of there fast, exclamation point. It's just really annoying to me. And I just, there are so many little things like that in this series that just piss me off. And, you know, and maybe it's just me being kind of uh, personal about it. I don't know. And I'm not defending d terrorism in any way. But, you know, there, there's the terrorist organization that they're fighting against in this book, the Homelanders. Uh, every time they talk about them, they call them Islamo-fascists, and for some reason that just pisses me off. I don't know what it is. It's just every time I read it, I cringe, and I just, I just don't like the way it's used. I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't really, I don't know what else we're supposed to call them, but just the fact that they call them that all the time... It just, it just bothers me. There's something about it that bothers me. So, yeah. But then, you know, overall, the story is so entertaining and, and so engrossing and so suspenseful that I have to read more. I'm pretty much at the point where I feel like I've read too far into the series to, to stop now. I have to know what happens. And <laughs> the series is not popular enough where I can just look up what happens on Wikipedia, so I have to read them and find out which is kind of frustrating because everybody pisses me off. So yeah. You'll... yeah. Anyway, the book that I'm going to read this week, hopefully not as enraging, uh, I'm going to read Lisa Bright and Dark by John Newfeld. It's about a girl with uh, mental illness. So that's what I'm going to read. Um, Katie's question that Dan did not answer. Dan, you, 
work with me here. You're the day before me, so I, I trust you to answer the questions from the previous week and remind me what they are. But then you always forget, and then I always forget. But this one I do remember, I believe it, Katie asked the question that those writer girls were asked, and it was, what three books would you bring with you to, like, a deserted island? Um, and I thought about it, and one, definitely. If I could get away with it, I would want to bring the big collected anthology of the first three Vampire Chronicles, but if that's cheating, then I would want to bring the Vampire List out. It's my favorite of, of the first couple, um, out of the whole series, so definitely the Vampire Lestat. Uh, my second book would probably be, um, hmm, probably Looking for Alaska, um, and then the third book would probably be some kind of light, fun read, probably some kind of romantic something. Uh, the one I'm thinking of right now is Night Play by Sherilyn Kenyon, uh, but any kind of in that genre would do, just to keep my mind off of the horribleness of being trapped on a deserted island. Uh, those are the three fictional books I would bring. You know, in reality, if I was planning on being deserted on a desert island, uh, I'd probably bring some kind of survival manual, but that always seems like cheating. I don't like people that answer that when people are like, what would you bring? And they're like, food. It's like, that's not what the question's about, okay? We understand that if you had the choice, you would bring food and water. That's not, that's not what we're asking. We're asking you what kind of material things are important to you. Just stop being a party pooper. So, so yeah. Um, that's my video. I will see all of you next Tuesday. Uh, there's a surprise for you. Uh, I'm going to tell you that there's a surprise, but I'm not going to tell you what the surprise is. You'll find out next Tuesday, and I will see all of you next Tuesday. I said that like four times. You understand. Tuesday. Whatever. Okay. Fairly well, book fighters.